spoke out just before eight this evening after police moved in to close down what was an already unruly concert in Ayatia Square. As they moved in, police were pelted with bottles, rocks, rubbish bins, anything the mob could find. Riot police charged again at Queen Street, but were driven back by the angry mob. By this stage, violence had reeled over into adjoining streets, and the inner city was given over to the mob rule. Shops and buildings near Aotea Square were some of the first targets. It was just the beginning of what was to become mob looting. The Auckland City Council's information centre was one of the first buildings hit, and the worst was almost destroyed. The mob moved down Queen Street attacking cars. A large number were wrecked, including several police vehicles. By now, shop after shop had been smashed into and looted, including a gun shop. The looters stole weapons, roaming the streets with them. The armed defender squad was called out, along with every available policeman in the Auckland area. By late this evening, police had been able to restore some sort of control to the inner city streets, but there were still some sporadic outbursts of violence.